The trial for the 2018 murder of a 10, of a 10 year old boy, Anthony Avalos, who lived in Lancaster. That trial is underway. His mother, Heather Barron, and her then boyfriend, Kareem Leva, are the defendants. Anthony's aunt testified today about seeing her nephew's bruised body. Eyewitness News reporter Christian Cordero live outside the courthouse in downtown L.A. with the latest. Christian. Mark, important to note that this is a bench trial, which means there's no jury. Instead, the legal teams are presenting their cases to the judge directly, who will then decide on a verdict. Today, during opening statements, we saw some incredibly graphic photos and videos of Anthony Avalos's lifeless body. We will not be showing that to you, but I can tell you that all of the wounds surrounding his death, affecting so many people, resurfaced in court today. More than four years after 10-year-old Anthony Avalos's death, today, the long last step to find justice begins. Anthony's mother, Heather Barron, and Heather's then-boyfriend, Kareem Leva, face murder, torture, and child abuse charges related to Anthony and two other siblings. The day before Anthony died on June 20th, 2018, Heather called 911 from their Lancaster home. 911, what's your emergency? My son's not dying. What's that? My son's Prosecutors allege he endured two weeks of extreme torture leading up to what they called the final blows two days before the 911 call, accusing Kareem of pinning Anthony by his neck and letting him fall, suggesting that is when he became unconscious. Unbeknownst to the first responders, however, Defendant Barron was not calling the police to get assistance for Anthony Avalos. In fact, at that particular time, he was already brain dead and lying unconscious on the floor for at least a day, possibly more. Kareem and Heather have separate legal teams. Heather's decided to not give an opening statement. Kareem's did. His defense attorney plans to provide evidence to show what caused Anthony's death is a more complex issue and that Kareem did not intend to kill him. Dr. Haddix will come in and testify that there was no, and this is important on the issue of lack of intent, no objective documentation of forceful impacts to Anthony's head repeatedly being slammed into the floor as indicated. Anthony's autopsy found he died with head trauma and had several other injuries on his body. Both sides will argue whether or not he was malnourished, whether the couple deprived Anthony and his siblings of water, and whether there were inconsistencies between what was reported and when. The trial is scheduled to last five weeks. Three witnesses testified today, Heather's sister-in-law, Maria, and two of Anthony Avalos's relatives from his father's side. Now, Kareem the whole time faced forward, so I couldn't really get a sense of whether he had any facial expressions that are worth noting. But there was one moment when prosecutors, without warning, showed some of those really graphic photos that I mentioned. Heather was actually looking at the screen at the time. She immediately looked away and stayed looking away until they went away. She otherwise had no emotion shown.